The Cherokee Nation Youth Choir is one of our initiatives to revitalize our native language. As Our divine Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, our Mediator, thanking you that we can come to the throne of grace and give the greatest adoration unto thee. O oh God, that you are in control of all things, thanking you for your love and your compassion that you show each and every one that has called upon the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Lord, thanking you for the four seasons that you've given us. And Lord, we have just experienced a forerunner of crisis that we may face before us. And everything is beginning to intensify. And Lord, just help us now to turn our hearts to you. Give us the wisdom and the knowledge, Lord, to turn our lives to you, to guide us and direct us, for you are in control. And Lord, tonight as we're going into the business of conducting the government of the Cherokee Nation, Lord, we ask to be the be with our chief as he uh, directs and guides the leadership of our Cherokee people. Not only them, Lord, but everyone. Lord, you do not separate people. You don't see no color. You don't see nothing but one gate for each and every one of us to walk through. But there is a choice. There is life eternal. Our choice is you. And tonight, my prayer is not to neglect such great salvation. And so tonight, Lord, be with our military people. Keep them from safe. Keep them from harm. And Lord, that they'll return home back to their loved ones. And so tonight, Lord, we just ask them that each and every one of us will learn how to help one another. How can I say I love God if I hate someone? And Lord, just let me open up my heart. Start with me. And Lord, we want to thank you for your love kindness. Again, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Next order of business is the State of the Nation of uh, Principal Chief Chad Smith. Chief Smith, before you get started, can't believe I'm going to thank you for something, but thank, thank you for scheduling this meeting this evening. Uh, due to the weather, our regularly scheduled meeting was canceled, and Chief Smith agreed to call a special meeting for this evening. Thank you very much.
It's my pleasure to appear in front of you, friends of the Council and our people online and those present for the State of the Nation, January 2007. We'd like to recognize our citizens, friends, and others who have parted from this life in the last few weeks. Councilman Joe Crittenden lost his mother, it was his mother-in-law just recently, Loletta Papineau, is that correct? Yes, sir. Wayne Wallace, a 29-year employee with uh, the Cherokee Nation's Talking Leaves Job Corps, passed just last week. Foreman, former Councilman Sam Ed Bush from the Marble City community, he was a tribal counselor from 1976 to 1999. Councilwoman Yargi asked me to acknowledge some of those friends who passed away in November. Sally Coachman from District 4, Tex Sunagui from District 3, and Rosie Sam Al in District 2. For these friends and all of our citizens and neighbors who have lost a loved one during this winter storm and at other times in this last month, let's keep them in our prayers and let's have a moment of silence, please. Widow. Joe Grayson, Jr., our Deputy Principal Chief, is not present tonight. He's in Washington, D.C., attending to the business of the Cherokee Nation and his <laughs> representation on the Self-Governance Committee. Tonight, uh, in his stead, I will do the uh, Veterans Honors. And I'd like to first recognize Onaway Cherokee Sanders Corcher. She was born in September 16th, I'm not being much of a gentleman, September 16th, 1917. In a two-story log house with four fireplaces, at age 12, on awake, attended Shilako Indian School for several years. She then attended Hillcrest Hospital in Tulsa and Tallahena Indian Hospital, where she received her nurses' training. She entered the Army Nurse Corps in early 1945 at Sam Houston, Texas. After basic training, she was sent to Camp Maxie in Texas, then on to Fort Lewis, Washington, to learn how to set up field hospitals for the invasion of Japan. She was among the first military nurses who were issued weapons. After the Japanese surrender, Onawake was sent to an amputee hospital in Utah. Onawake left the Army in 1946 to work at the Veterans Administration Hospital in West Los Angeles, where she mostly took care of World War I veterans. In the 1960s, she moved to Tulsa, where she worked private duty until her retirement until 1984. So at this time, it's my great honor to present this award to Ms. Court. <laughs> She uh, shared with me this picture of a beautiful young lady. That's her. And Ava. And that's his picture. So, so you care to Well, uh, you know, honor to look at this long. <laughs> 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 And also to be Cherokee, that's, you know, as much as, mm -hmm. as, as getting the, the award. So I guess that's, I guess that's it. Now, what would you say this is this for the is break? A for the for a break. Yeah, I have one there, so you I'll might see. Do it for somebody else. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> Thank you.
second recipient is Bill Sarney, who was born in 1932 in Braggs, Oklahoma, to Ju Joe and Annie Sarney. Mr. Sarney attended Jones Academy in Hawshorn, Oklahoma, and Haskell Institute in Lawrence, Kansas. He entered the Army in 1952, received his basic training in Fort Bliss, Texas. He was sent to Japan, where he served as a radar operator. Following the service, Bill received the Good Conduct Medal and the Service Medal. Bill is retired and resides in Braggs with his wife, Floretta. So is Bill, are you here? Okay. Let me go on to news. Uh, we have the issuance of our bonds uh, to pay for the construction of the uh, Noada and Muskogee clinics. We're proud to, to report that those bonds were sold out, investment grade bonds. The minimum wage increase has taken effect as of last Friday. Cherokee Nation employees affected by the increase receive their increase in their paychecks. The Election Commission finalized the ballot for the March 3rd election regarding citizenship. The Secretary of State has placed legal notices in the newspapers as required by law. We encourage all citizens to participate in their government to determine and understand the issues and vote in all elections. And for more information, you can call the Election Commission. <coughs> of program updates, Cherokee Nation Enterprises announced an expansion last week. The Cherokee Casino Resort is preparing to go an expansion and constru construction project. <coughs> the post-construction facility in Catoosa will encompass approximately 337,000 square feet, making the Cherokee Casino Resort the largest gaming destination in Oklahoma. More than 1,700 people already work at the casino in uh, Catoosa, but it will add another 450 employees before the staff expansion. With more than 2,100 employees, the Catoosa property will be one of the largest employers in the area. Emergency management has been busy with this winter storm. Uh, we each have our stories. As we have in the past, we have been working closely with county emergency agencies, law enforcement, fire departments, EMS, church groups, and general volunteer groups. We've helped hundreds in our communities with water. We've been cutting trees to clear roads and get, getting the word out about local shelters. We ask all the employees who worked on the emergency management effort to stand at this time. I know we've got a lot of our marshals here, and we ask them to come in and be recognized. <laughs> Of course, I live close to here, and our electricity went out on Saturday, and it was Friday when it came back on. And, uh, I think the greatest hardship of after we got a generator was the kids didn't have their cable TV. So that was a crisis at hand. But many of our employees are still without electricity, and many of our community members are. And we can each empathize with their situations. I would like to recognize <coughs> uh, uh, report that we've had thousands of gallon of water distributed to Delaware, Muskogee, Mays, and Cherokee counties. Our crews have worked in the following rural areas delivering water, working chainsaws, delivering food and generators to shelters in many of the following areas. And this is a partial list. Pegs, Jay, Salina, Welling, Locust Grove, Hulbert, Uchi, Colcord, Spavina, Leach, Muskogee, Oaks, Kenwood, Chimney Rock, Choteau, Pryor, Oak Hill, Piney, Lost City Area, West Salon, Kansas. The teams that have rolled up their sleeves and worked in this effort include emergency management, and they're here, human services, uh, light heap, food distribution, the elderly nutrition, the health clinic staff, home health nurses, facilities, and natural resources, and led by Todd Enloe, communications, our marshal service, EMS, gaming commission, the Cherokee Nation Fire Crew, uh, community services led by Charlie Soap. He was out there uh, day one. Our roads department, <clears throat> water and sanitation, compassion capital, and our SIPS housing uh, program, plus many, many other volunteers. Do we have some pictures? Okay. We have a few slides from what of our staff saw and what many of you reflected on.
Well, that's being queued up. What we'll, I'll be asking for the council tonight is to modify our budget modification to include $200,000 to help with the uh, relief effort to, resulting from the ice storm. Those funds will be used to restore electrical power, help repair plumbing from frozen pipes, debris removal prioritized based upon the need for access by EMS propane, uh, private property cleanup will be limited to health, safety, and home repair. As many times the uh, propane trucks can't get in and won't deliver propane to elderly if the pathway is obstructed. Okay. So we'll proceed with viewing our slides. We're going to turn. This looks like the road to Kenwood. I was up there on Tuesday, and it was a quite an interesting obstacle to go from Kenwood, Melvina, to Jay, and walk and driving under those trees. We helped distribute water at Kenwood. There's Johnny Backwater in the pack, back. And there's some of the damage, extensive damage on the high lines. This is our Sling Courthouse. Charlie Soap delivering pallets of water. Our Bull Hollow crew helping clear, clear out the road to Jay. Okay, that's sad. <clears throat> with this $200,000, we also assist with temporary housing if housing is completely destroyed for essential living needs. Continue to supply water supplies to designated distribution points and other resources to a household available to address the needs. We will have them ascertain the insurance and other savings if should be considered in the formulas for help. <coughs> We're pleased with our staff, how they coordinated with local law enforcement and local EMS who had the primary duty in this time of necessity. And there at Jay, we were able to see the many families that were destitute, and we took water up and uh, helped with other uh, essentials. But let me conclude this uh, report this way. We just received this afternoon an email from Ruth Fallen from Pryor. It was addressed to Todd Inlow. He says, thank you and your staff for helping me in this icy crisis. Pat Gwynn and his crew helped save me from total peril. My car was hung up. I was about to collapse from trying to get wood in to heat my house. Thank God for the Cherokee Nation. Sin sincerely in Wado, Ruth Paul and Pryor. And we have many, many stories of that where our Cherokee people rolled up their sleeves and it personified the spirit of God in them, helping each other, coming to the aid of the community for no other reason than it made them feel good to help their neighbor. So in closing, I will... Uh, uh, sort of shatter this moment of soli solidarity with one that uh, we need to be out here in an hour and 40 minutes because Bedlam is on basketball. So the OSU OU game was going to be headed, and uh, my fond councilman from <laughs> Muskogee and his cohort, Carroll Cowan, are the OSU fans, and I'm surprised the rest of us didn't wear our. Oh, you, okay, we got a little bit of red. So it is nice that we can have that this crisis or the time of peril has passed. There's four OSU folks here? Five? Uh oh. Who is this doing? Who's an OU fan? Raise your hand. All right, who's an OSU fan? Well, it looks like we do have a house divided. Thank you very much. Uh, just Let me just share one thing with you, and I'll pass this down. But the Sperry, Turley, and the Sky Took Fire Departments gave a plaque to Buell and I this afternoon in appreciation for the contributions the Cherokee Nation made to the fire departments, some of 
months ago was sincerely appreciated by that community. Resolution honoring Junie Susan Benjamin Ward as Elder Cherokee of Great Distinction from myself and Councilor Garvin. And then the fourth item would be an amendment to budget modification of two for two hundred thousand dollars. Chief spoke to Cal. Second motion. We can second any discussion on these items. <clears throat> All in favor aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, so you uh, are proposing to immediately on the special session January 10 meeting approve those. Yes. Okay. Did you, you want to make you move? I'll that? move to approve those. I've read those. Okay. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on the January 10 special session meeting? Oh, Madam Chair, I did have one uh, amendment to the note. It was not noted the names on the resolution. Passed. Uh, there was at least one no vote recorded. Okay. So you've included And it's not noted in the note. Yes, it is. Did you receive that email? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Council is not going to oppose it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Did I have a second? A second. Oh. All in favor of uh, approving the special session January 10 minutes? Signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Watts, Count Watts. Uh, next item is action of unfinished business. There being none, we'll move on down to committee reports. And that would be uh, the Housing Authority, Mr. Sutherland. Good evening. I have a brief report this evening. Our January board meeting has been rescheduled for the 30th. Uh, at 5.30 in the Alley Hall in the conference room. Uh, we've got a light agenda uh, with no major is issues to address. Our low rent apartment sites at Grove, J, Locust Grove, Pryor, Form, Warner, and Bird Edition here in Tahlequah spent most of last week without electric and several without water. All are back online with the exception of around 15 apartments at Pryor. We still got live wires on the ground there. Um, we're using vacant apartments that, that have electric to house those that are uh, without electric there. Uh, our Vanita side has a busted 6-inch water line and hasn't affected residents as of yet and shouldn't. Uh, and we expect to have it repaired tomorrow. Uh, we have extensive tree and limb problems at Jay Grove, Locust Grove, and Pryor, along with my house. Uh, as the power has been coming back on in our mutual help homes, uh, we're finding problems with the electric lines where they've been pulled out of the, the uh, house. We're treating those as insurance jobs. Uh, the problem is we've, there's a ton of limbs that are in the, in the front yard where the, there's no electric. So those aren't covered under insurance. And, and the reason I mention this is because I'm sure you all will be getting a lot of calls on those uh, if you haven't already. Uh, but anyway, that's my report for this evening. If anyone has any questions, I'll... Give it a shot and answer it. Mr. Sutherland, comments? Thank you very much. Thank you. Brief report. <laughs> Next to Cherokee Nation Enterprises, Mr. Stewart. Oh, not Mr. Stewart. Good evening, Council. I'll be filling in for Dave tonight. Uh, our board meeting is next Tuesday, and everyone's invited to that at Catoosa. 
A little bit about our financials. Uh, we reported out in November another good month. Uh, December seemed to be along the same line. We had a lot of parties, a lot of activity around entertainment in the month of December. And uh, when we report out on that, it will be uh, as well or a little better than what we did in November. Our dividend to the nation for December uh, was around $2.7 million for the month. Uh, in addition to that, we paid additional taxes uh, that were collections on retail sales and other sales of approximately $85,000. Um, on our expansion projects, i uh, give you a little update. Chief Smith talked about Catoosa. Our parking garage there, if you've been by lately, is uh, progressing nicely. We hope to be done by the end of April, the middle of May on that. Uh, it's going to be a very nice facility and, and sure would have come in handy in the last couple of weeks. Um, the um, project down at Roland is, is coming along very slowly. Uh, we're in recovery mode on that as far as schedule and scope. And uh, we anticipate uh, knowing a little more where we're going to be on that with, at the end of this week. Uh, the site's really been hit hard the last couple of weeks, so it's prohibited any of the site work that's going on there. The inside of the building was scheduled to be done today as far as sheetrock, and uh, so uh, we're making progress now. It has been uh, slower than what, what it should have been. West Siloam expansion continues along. Uh, we're beginning to do quite a bit of site work there and, and utility work. Uh, we've come to an agreement with the city of West Siloam on uh, sanitary sewer and what we're going to do there. So you'll see that starting to take shape and come out of the ground uh, within the next two or three months there. Uh, some of the damage from uh, the ice storm on our facilities, uh, we had a barn collapse at WRD. Uh, insurance adjusters have been out there and we're trying to uh, hurriedly uh, get that back up in shape for the upcoming race season, which starts, I believe, February 22nd or 23rd. It's a 60-day meet, I believe. Um, and I think that pretty much covers what's happened with the expansions and, and the damage from the storms. Community partnership. Um, our employees adopted approximately 400 angels for the uh, Cherokee Nation Angel Tree last month, and then the company itself sponsored approximately $20,000 for those angels that weren't adopted. So hopefully that helped uh, cover everyone that, that was in need of help there. Um, as far as assisting during the storm, I'm told that we provided or helped arrange uh, for a semi-load of water that was provided for the uh, emergency response to the storm. Uh, Job-wise, we currently employ 3,011 people at the end of December. Our Cherokee percentage is now at 60 percent. Other Native American is 14 percent for a total of 74 percent. Uh, management level is 65 percent Cherokee. Other Native American and seven for a total of 72 percent. We have a lot of good employees, and uh, I'd like to recognize one tonight. Gina Laya uh, does a lot for us. She is uh, in tune with the employees. They, she listens to all their problems, and she's the go-to person as far as employee relations. And uh, I don't know if it was in the past couple of weeks or the last month. But um, the Oklahoma Council for Problem and Compulsive Gambling uh, presented her award for all the work that she's doing on behalf of those people that are in need uh, of assistance from that. We provide a lot of enter entertainment for people. Some people have a problem uh, with that addictive behavior at times, and Gina's worked to help implement that program for us. So we'd let like to recognize the fact that uh, she was she received this honor. That's my report. There's probably a hundred other things she ought to be recognized for too, but uh, and I'll answer any questions that that uh, you might have, or I'll try to.
You're welcome to hats or a gift from uh, Chef Dale and his staff. And I'm not sure who requested those, but uh, hopefully they'll help the cook. And I've had some of Taylor's, and I know there's no help there. So. <laughs> I guess not. Next to Cherokee Nation Industries, Mr. Collins, Brian Collins. Good evening, Good evening Brian. Good evening, Madam Speaker, members of the Council. I first would like to thank uh, Chief Smith for lending a helping hand in setting the dome in Muskogee, as he tends to want to get his hands dirty in the construction. Uh, also, we do have employees who are still without power as well, even still today, you know, living on, powered by generators at their houses. So uh, there is a lot of people still in the needs. CNI has received, <coughs> recently received uh, an award that we'll be accepting in April as a top diversity supplier in the nation. Uh, CNI was ranked 65th national and fourth in the state of Oklahoma for revenue for top top diversity. Current employment between in the Tahlequah Stillwell area, 258 employees, 88 percent Native American. Our sales year to date, uh, end of December, is 50 million, which is 17 percent greater than the same time frame last year. Profitability is estimated 850 thousand. CNI's next board meeting is scheduled for January 29th at 3 o'clock in Catoosa in the CMB conference room. Uh, this completes my report. Do you have any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Nation Businesses, uh, Cali Good evening, Cali. Good evening, Council. I'm pleased to report that we missed out almost completely on the ice at my house, and I feel very blessed. <laughs> no, no ice at all on our trees, so we were lucky. Um, Cherokee CRC continues to do well. Um, they have approximately 5.1 million in contracts from uh, inception to date. In our shared services, business development is working with CNE on uh, several projects, um, existing property development as well as uh, business cases for um, some of the expansion projects. Internal audit is uh, busy with ongoing compliance monitoring for CNE. Um, they have several reviews for CNI. Ethics Point, which is the online. Um, reporting system um, went online for CNB, CNE, and CNI, and that is uh, working well. Our next board meeting is this Saturday, January 27th at 10 a.m. in Catoosa. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Any questions for Kelly? Comments? Oh, Linda, sorry. Kelly, yeah. could you bring us up to date on the landfill? Um, the landfill, that doesn't really fall under the CNB umbrella, no. Um, I have been working because the um, current permit was issued to Cherokee Nation Financial Resources uh, at the time Sharon Swepston, who is very familiar with the landfill operation, uh, had oversight. So I have been trying to work um, with our contract operator ICI and uh, Environmental Protection Commission to discuss any issues that arise. Um, I would like to defer um, a formal report on that until I have better information. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Next item is old business or being done. We'll move on down to not, uh, new business. And there's an item 1A, uh, resolution honoring uh, Lucille Wadley as an elder, uh, Cherokee. Mr. Garvin, do you have that one? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Marie Wadley is quite a lady. If you better tell her, you better forgive her. And being on the tribal council, that's certain person, you used to meet a lot of beautiful Cherokee women. 
<laughs> Tell my wife that. <laughs> Thank you. You really do. And Marie is one of those, and Jenny is another one. Both of them vote in my district, and I'm glad they do. They're good campaigners and good workers. Marie worked for the Bureau of Indian Affairs for 42 years, and she was received the Distinguished Service Award from the Secretary of Interior, which was quite a honor for her. Let me read just a little bit about her uh, resolution. Whereas the Cherokee Nation has elders in their communities that through their life experiences keep honored traditions and history alive, and whereas the Cherokee Nation is cognizant of the benefit these elders bestow upon the Cherokee Nation present and future generations, and Whereas elders who reach the century age mark are to be honored and recognized as a symbol of ever-present strength of the Cherokee Nation. Whereas Lucille Marie Wadley, born on December the 16th, 1906, is a Cherokee citizen of great historical back background. Ms. Wadley spent a great amount of her career working for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, benefiting directly Native American people. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Cherokee Nation through the Tribal Council that Lucille Marie Wiley, citizen of the Cherokee Nation, born on the 16th day of December, 1906, is to be recognized and honored as a Cherokee citizen of distinction with rights and privileges thereof. I might mention she was the Grand Marshal for our Christmas parade. It was almost freezing. She was out there in that convertible. She is a feisty lady, and I recommend we approve this resolution. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay. Next is 1B, and that's a resolution honoring Junie Binge Ward. Is that you, Karen? Yes, thank you. I have to laugh because uh, we were joking with Bill Johnson. He said it wouldn't be too much longer. I think it is his Centurion resolution, <laughs> too. So. <laughs> no. Amen. I am honored that I get to present this resolution. Uh, both Don Garvin and I self sponsoring this resolution tonight for Jenny Susan Binge Ward. And we do apologize, or I apologize. I think Don would apologize too, but we didn't find out about their birthdays coming up until it was too late to go through the committee, and so we did have to amend the agenda tonight to include them, so I apologize for that. But um, if Junie is a friend of my family, and we officially call her Aunt Junie, and she will be turning 100 on February 10th. So she was born in Fort Gibson Indian Territory to Lewis and Ella Binge, um, and then her grand. Father, if you're familiar with that part of Cherokee Nation, was the first U.S. Marshal in Indian Territory and actually donated the land for the Cherokee Cemetery in the Fort Gibson area. So she has a long history with that part of the country and is Don Garvin's proud constituent. And Kendra, she's very frank and very just matter of fact about what she wants, and she was very adamant that she remain his constituent and not go at large. So I <laughs> make sure that he she's retained that. It's, it's with great honor that I present this resolution tonight. I move to approve Madam Speaker. Second. Move to second. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Thank you, Don and Kara. <coughs> Next is item one under new business, a resolution submitting the 2007 Indian House Plan to Department of Housing and Urban Development, Ms. Shop Pouch. Second. Move and second. And any discussion? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Item two is a resolution authorizing approval of right of way under the Arkansas Riverbed for a gas line. Mr. Martin? Move for approval. Second. Move and second. And any discussion? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Uh, item, the council has no objection. Items 3, 7, and 11 cover confirmation of nominations to certain boards, Cherokee Nation boards. 
Unless there's an objection, I'll cover these items and ask they be voted on in total. I have an objection. Okay. You want them separate? Okay. Um, item three is a resolution from the nomination of Kenneth Lymore as a board member of Cherokee Nation Employee Appeals Board of Directors. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Three. Item four is an act amending uh, Legislative Act 2505 relating to the preservation of Cherokee culture at Cherokee Nation facilities. Ms. Uh, Count Watts. Moved to approve. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. And our acclamation. Our acclamation. Uh, item five is an act amending um, uh, relating to protecting threatened traditional Cherokee cemeteries. Mr. Baker. Move for approval. Second. It is an act. Uh, all in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed, same sign. By acclamation. Yes. Okay. Item six is a resolution authorizing the submission of a Tribal Courts Assistance Program grant application. Um, Madam Chairman. Yes. Uh, the department says that uh, the grant uh, was different than what they believed, and it is too late, and they ask this be pulled. And this item, item six of that, they've asked to pull it. Um, Suzanne, did you want to address that in any way? Just that uh, it wasn't designed for the whole meeting. Okay. Thank you. Item seven is a resolution confirming the nomination of David Blue as a C and D board member. Well moved. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion on Mr. Blue's uh, nomination? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Aye. One. No. Mm -hmm. Item eight is a resolution authorizing the marshal service to do, donate a. Uh, vehicle to the Delaware County Sheriff's Office. Ms. O'Leary. Okay. Now that I know. I'll put that in for a moment. Okay. Moved and second. Any discussion? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Item nine is an act amending the uh, 2007 budget, Mod 2, and it does have that amendment adding $200,000 for emergency needs resulting from the recent storm. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? Uh, Baker? Yeah, I might go ahead and speak to it just a little bit. Uh, it, it does have the $200,000 for storm mitigation emergency. Also has Cherokee Helping Initiative. Uh, uh, pro, uh, init, initiate progress and our heating stove assistance dollars. Uh, it's got higher ed scholarship dollars in it. It's got Sequoia High School operation dollars in it. And it takes part of the 06 Indian housing plan and puts it to use. Call for the question. Questions being called. Uh, by acclamation, all in favor of item 9, signify by saying aye. Aye. Call the vote, same sign. Motion carries. Item 10 is uh, Mod 3 of the 2007 budget. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Baker. Uh, this one uh, has a total of $14,896,000 in it. Uh, it uh, relates to uh, uh, special mm -hmm. debt reduction payments for Sequoia High School Gymnasium, including self help water line programs, employment bonus adjustment. Uh, Expansion and planning budget, close out of the softball field construction projects, Sequoia High School apportionment uh, for the previous year, environmental, uh, environmental Protection Commission, the landfill, uh, special construction funding and indirect cost shortfalls funding Sequoia High School, a uh, transfer uh, related to Sequoia High School uh, uh, shortfall of indirect cost as well as additional realty funding. It also has a million dollars in mortgage assistance uh, for out of the 05 and in housing plan and uh, it has uh, power wild ground improvements project. I move uh, for its approval. Madam Speaker. Um, moved and seconded. Any discussion? Mr. Baker. Okay. 
This does have a lot of good items, such as $700,000 for the cancer and diabetes treatment, $1 million for the water line in Rocky Mountain, $1 million in mortgage assistance, and several other items. But it does have the one controversial item, which is the $1 million in bonuses to employees. And this has already been vetoed once by the chief. And to move the nation forward, I move that we separate the bonuses from the other items in this okay. question. Mr. Henry, I have a question. Mr. Baker has been moved and seconded that it be approved, and he's asking that it be amended. To no, separate. The, it is not to be amended. What, what Mr. Baker is asking is for a division of the question. That is uh, not debatable, not amendable. He poses to the body how he wishes the, the, the question to be divided. Uh, has, as I understand it, he, he would want a separate vote on the actual uh, employee uh, money issue, correct? Yes. And then a, a vote on the rest of the bill. Is that yes. correct? That is a proper motion. It needs to be seconded, and it needs to be uh, – there's no debate. There's no amendment to that motion, and it takes a majority to pass. Okay. So we vote on that before we vote on the total budget. That is correct. Okay. If there was a second to that, correct? Was there a second? Yes. yes. Mr. John. Okay. Let's have a roll call vote on the division. Clarification. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes is to. Yes is to uh, support the division. No is you do not support it. Yes. And the division, we still vote on everything. Yes. But we just vote on the one issue separately from the rest of the budget. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Yes, and after you take your vote on the division, then you take a vote on the bill as a whole. Okay, and including the, if it should pass. Okay. Yeah, division. Yes, is you favor the division. Don Garvin? Yes. Chuck Hoskin? No. <coughs> no. Bill Johnson? Yes. Taylor Keene? No. John Keener? No. Jacob Martin? Yes. Linda O'Leary? No. Melvina Shophouse? No. David Thornton? No. Kara Cowan Watts? Yes. Bill Ashargi? No. Bill Anglin? Yes. Bill John Baker? No. Jack Baker? Yes. Audra Connor? No. Joe Crittenden? No. Meredith Brady? Yes. Seven yes, nine no. The division does not stand. Move for approval as a whole. Uh, roll call vote, please, as a whole. <clears throat> yes. We had a lot of this discussion last time, but I struggle with the fact that <coughs> we're not able to separate out these issues and we're going to hold this money up for political reasons. And I think the folks need to understand that. Thank you. Questions been called. Um, okay. It is an act. Your Anglin? No. Bill John Baker? Yes. <coughs> Jack Baker? No. Audra Connor? Yes. Joe Crittenden? Yes. Meredith Fraley? No. Don Garvin? No. Chuck Hoskin? Yes. Bill Johnson? No. Taylor Keene? Yes. John Keener? Yes. Jackie Bob Martin? No. Linda O'Leary? Yes. Melvina Shophouse? Yes. David Thornton? Kara Cowan Watts? No. Phyllis Yargy? Yes. Nine yes. Nine yes. Seven eight. Motion carries. Okay. Item 11 is a resolution for the nomination of Eddie Humphrey as a board member of Cherokee Nation Business Board of Directors. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? Uh, this gentleman was not a chairman. No, Uh, Ms. O'Leary has a question. Uh, is he a tribal member? Is Mr. Humphrey a tribal member? No, Mr. Humphrey is not a tribal member. Okay, thank you, Callie. Oh, any other questions? I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
Thank you, Madam Speaker. Just a comment. I had the opportunity to serve uh, with Mr. Humphrey, and uh, he's a, a businessman of the finest caliber, and uh, I think it would be uh, very fortunate to have his uh, support on the uh, Board of Directors for Cherokee Nation Businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Ms. Town Watts. Thank you, Madam Speaker. In committee meeting, I did not support Mr. <coughs> Humphrey, but since then I've had discussions with Ms. Ketcher, and I think that there's reason for me to change my vote. Um, even though he's not Cherokee, um, I'll give on this one, but we have cooperation on future nominations, so thank you. <laughs> if I could, um, Mr. Humphrey is one of the best businessmen I've ever had the pleasure to work with. And I understand that it's important for us to get Cherokee citizens on our boards, but when you have someone of his caliber willing to serve, I think we would be remiss in turning down the expertise that he would bring to our board. Thank you, Ms. Ketcher. All in favor of Mr. Humphrey's nomination, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Aye. aye. Um, Mr. Crittenden and Ms. O'Leary. Item 12 is a resolution approving the Cherokee Nation's fiscal year 05 Indian Housing Plan Amendment Number 3. Ms. Shop Pouch. Amendment 3, the <coughs> heading, uh, so this is for $30,855,231 plus $877,063 program to clean up with that and four we have been second. Any discussion? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, item 13 is a re resolution requesting FEMA of surplus trailers. Uh, Mr. Kessler. Yes, ma'am. Uh, as we've all seen on the news, the uh, FEMA during Katrina disaster uh, bought literally tens of thousands of mobile homes. Many of them are parked uh, in Hope, Arkansas, many of them in Louisiana. Uh, according to Congressman uh, Colburn, uh, termites are starting to eat on some of them, and uh, it, it's just a terrible waste. And, uh, you know, we literally have Cherokee citizens that uh, are living on dirt floors and uh, highly uh, un unsanitary and, and unacceptable housing. And uh, although Congress put it in their rider that they could give them to Indian tribes, FEMA has uh, says, well, they passed the law, but they didn't tell us how to do it, so you know, basically we're not doing it. And we're just hoping a resolution from the tribe to FEMA will get enough uh, support and we can take it to our congressmen and our representatives. And uh, so it is just a formal request from FEMA that uh, I would like to move uh, to, to send in. Maybe we can get them all behind the center. So I put that in form of motion. Moved and second. Any further discussion? Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Moving on down to announcements. Um, do we have any announcements? Yes, Ms. Potter. I would just like to take this opportunity, and I know several of the folks have already uh, left for the evening that uh, mentioned it earlier in our resources meeting, but I would like to thank those uh, who made it possible to get water out to communities who didn't have any, such as my own. Although I had an outlet here in town to get water, um, we had lots of folks around us that didn't. Uh, and many of us still don't have electric, so it took it was quite a feat. Uh, it's the first time I've had makeup on in several days. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that will be coming soon. And uh, again, I just want to thank all of those efforts, the combined efforts. And for those folks who, um, you know, are not tri tribal citizens who benefited and made our community whole. So uh, just thank you. Mr. Baker? Yes, I would like to announce that uh, uh, we're having a planning meeting on Monday, January 29th, 07 at 10 a.m. at the Telequal Community Building Conference Room uh, to get community leaders and citizens to uh, look at, at the disaster that we just had and to get together and brainstorm and try to come up with a better plan where we everybody can work together 
So if we're out of electricity for, for 10 days, that we can better serve our people and, and the people in general in the community. So anybody that is available, please be there uh, Monday, uh, January 29th at 10 a.m. And everybody would be, be invited and welcome. Thank you. In the morning, 10 a.m. Yeah. Any other announcements? Sure. Second. Move and second. All right. 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 All right